Okay, it's been a while since I made my last use block of the Lenovo A485. What I've prepared today is I've redone the experiment opening it, putting an NVMe in the VAN slot for Linux, especially Fedora in this case. I installed another 8GB of RAM, which makes quite a significant difference. We come to benchmarks later. I have some issues with the dock, which I want to share with you, and um, some minor stuff with the notebook itself. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are again with my Lenovo A485. I bought some extra memory and I'm gonna give the memory card. I think I bought the right one this time. I looked for that as an NVMe and not a Zeta. And let's get onto it. I already disabled the internal battery so I can start straight away. Let's get on with it. Nicely. Let's loosen all the screws. It's okay. According to the menu, you should start here, getting that off nicely. Okay.
see the last time I broke off this piece at the back. So be a bit careful. Yeah, I managed not to get that off. Ah, and now it gets off nicely. We open it, no more loose parts, that's great. That's perfect. Just the one which already broke off at the first plate time. Let's get to it. Okay, this is where we installed at the last time. It's my wrong card. I actually bought something for this to connect that to my old PC later. So this will fire, increase the speed of my old PC later on. Now we get to this baby. A bit nervous as you can see. That's in nicely. Let's take a look. I actually bought some extra RAM. I should have done that in the first place, but I Thought it wasn't worth it. Now I actually bought another unit of RAM for this. So let's check it out. Ah, here's the spare slot. See, don't even have to worry putting them on top of each other. Let's put it down. I bought the exact same memory, although that wouldn't have been necessary because it's overrated for the CPU and I can overclock it anyhow. Okay, that's about it. It's installed. Okay, let's put the lid back on. On first, and then push all the way to the back. Okay, leave the screws as they are for now because we're going to check the result for a second. Still put them, I think I'm going to screw those two back in. Battery. No, I forgot. I forgot the battery. That should have worked fine now. Need the power supply. Just take the duck, take the card away.
Okay, now that the NVMe card is installed with Fedora, what I found out, we don't need any other settings for the to fire the Linux kernel as of 4.19 kernel-ish. I haven't tried the 4.18, but the 4.19 works pretty well. What's left are some issues with the XORG driver. That seems to be a bit weird acting, but I can't get an actual error report. So I cannot tell why it's giving me warnings, but nevertheless, it got a lot less with the 4.19 kernel. Okay, we have eight gigabytes of extra RAM in here now. A lot of people say that your channel memory doesn't make such a big difference. I will show you in a sec second what difference this made with this laptop. And I think that is a severe difference to not having dual channel memory. I underestimated the effect, but now I'm happy that I've got it and I can use it. Let's get to the numbers. Just for the people who are curious, this is the Lenovo Pro Dock I'm using. I'm thinking about making another complete video, just a short introduction. Notebook slips in, you push it in, it goes into the USB-C ports on the side. Then you have Ethernet, USB-C, two USB, USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports. I use them for the keyboard, which is enough, I think. A charging port, two display ports, and power supply, and an audio jack which is for microphone. It's a combo jack for microphone and headphones at the same time. Now, this has a little bit of problems when it comes up from the sleep mode. The two display ports aren't fired up that way that the display turns on and you have to actually make it listen to the port. I'm not so sure if it's an issue with my display or if it's an issue with the dock. Anyhow, it doesn't work that well. Another issue with this thing, but that may be a Windows 10 issue because on the Linux it finds all three displays straight away and shows them. Under Windows 10 you have to set that manually. You have to actually say, I have three displays and I want to have them all connected. Okay, I've been using this baby for a few months now. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the fan speed. It's not annoying. Sometimes you have when a fan starts spinning it, even if it's pretty quiet you have this annoying noise in the background this is pretty neat you don't have any high frequency while spinning and doesn't spin up that high so if you're doing ordinary office work it's hardly spinning up at all and that's pretty nice I like it maybe some people who are into quiet computing would dislike it but I think this is still okay it just gets blown out here I'm pretty happy with that compared to my both desktops I have here, this is silent, silent working.